You can use a computer or mobile device to access files and applications to another computer with Chrome Remote Desktop. On your computer, Chrome Remote Desktop is available on the web. To use your mobile device or remote access, download the Chrome Remote Desktop app. First, what you want to do is type um, Remote Desktop on your browser, right? And hit Enter. So, what you're looking for is a thing that says Google Remote Desktop. Click on Chrome Remote Desktop. This is what it should look like if you've never installed Remote Desktop. Under the Setup Remote Access, right here, click on this down arrow. If you get could not download the installer, please try again. Click on OK. If you prompt it to this new setup, go ahead and hit your download. On the right hand side, you see this right here? You'll see this thing going in a circle, then you know that it's downloading. Once it's finished downloading, if you hover around here, you see this little um, folder? You can click on that folder. And this is what's going to uh, show up. Now, mine went to a different monitor, but this is what you're looking for right here. Depending on how your folders are set up, yours might look like this. So double click on the Chrome Remote Desktop host. What you do is double click. It'll say, please wait, the Chrome desktop host. So at this point, this computer is configured to allow one or more clients to connect without entering a PIN. You can click on view slash edit. So when you click on view slash edit, this is what you're going to get. The following clients can, can be paired with this computer and can connect without supplying a PIN. You can revolt this permission at any time, either individually or by client. So here you can click on a client and delete or you can delete all. So now there's nothing there. So once you install this, you can just type remote desktop and then uh, you can go to remote desktop google.com so now this is what your page should look like at this point you can generate a code or you can put somebody's uh, code here so I'll get on another computer I'll generate a code type it here and then I'll log into that other computer on another computer I generated a code. This code is only good for one time. So once you hit connect, that other person is going to have to click uh, share because it's going to say, would you like to allow me uh, to see the control or to see and control your computer, you have to hit share. Once you hit share, see right now it's connecting. So now what we're doing is we're viewing another computer. So if I wanted to, 
I, I could get this page here and move it over to another desktop and then so if I wanted to move this I, I could so I'm going to temporarily move it to another uh, monitor or if you only have one monitor then you can start viewing his computer so watch I'm going to do something with my other computer so let's go to uh, let's go to oh one thing you don't want to do is do not uh, turn off the remote access because now you 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 won't see this so you see how I opened up the other computer and then you know if I I can go to another uh, page now, now one thing that you might notice that it might lag a little bit depending on how strong your connection is actually my other computer I know for sure is slow because even oh when I was opening up that uh, that website it was uh, lagging a little bit is because I have a lot of things going on with that computer but um, and if you see the changes that I make on that other computer shows up here anyway guys that's all I wanted to show you oh okay well, one other thing so let me go ahead and um, um, <clears throat> so if, if you want to stop sharing you can just click here and then uh, you no longer are sharing okay so let's go back to Google um, remote so if you want somebody to see your computer what I've what I've got here is I already got a shortcut so I'm gonna click here and if you want somebody to see your computer what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on generate code and then you're gonna provide them this and on their end they go uh, then once here I'll tell you what let me go ahead and do that so you can see what happens on your on your end when you're sharing somebody so uh, let me give me a second let's go to Google remote I'm going to generate a code okay so um, so no excuse me I've already generated a code I'm gonna put that code in there and that code is 9257 and then 2316 okay so um, you're gonna be prompted would you like to allow that person you know to see and control your computer you can hit share now that other person can see you and and uh, he can control your computer but if you click out of this website so let's say you wanted to go to another website you definitely don't want to shut this website down you would have to go in here and and click here as long as you keep this one open you're going to be sharing guys that's all I wanted to show you thank you for watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up I will see you on the next video.